Hey guys, what's here again? Welcome back to the channel. Oil Catch Can, episode 18. Let's go. What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, Wix here again, carrying on the build for the SDI, episode 18, making our custom oil catch can. So I've got Dean back again, doing his welding buzz. Uh, we're still going with the intercooler piping, uh, but I thought I would make this episode kind of separate, because um, I've kind of made up my own baffle for this oil catch again. So, just show you quickly how it's roughly gonna go. So I've pretty much got this little piece here that I've just drilled out some holes. It's gonna sit like that. Gonna weld that to it. And that will be attached to the lid. And this opening here, it's just big enough for my fittings to go in and drop all the oil in here. And the reason why I put this little bottom lid here with holes in it is I'm going to fill all, just loosely fill this with um, some steel wool, which will hopefully catch a lot of the crap before it drips into the can. And then the filters will be roughly over here on the side of the can. So after doing some research I kind of found out that the main reason for a baffle is just to stop oil from blowing straight up the baffles. Um, so this is my version of my of my baffle so you won't see any, any of this once it's in the can. Um, oil will drop down into the main can and air will come out and then I just got to figure out a way on how to drain it. I might put a tap on the bottom, I'm unsure yet but uh, that's the baffle so far. And I've just got Dean Weldy now. Fittings on. And also a couple of bits and pieces for the uh, for the filters or the breathers as well. So I'll just let Dean carry on with that and uh, when we make a bit of progress I'll show you guys what that looks like as well. New day, crap day today. Um, just carrying on with this oil catch can. We've got it all tacked up together. We just haven't welded the lid to the can. But I uh, just wanted to show you what we've got so far before we do weld the lid on. So uh, this is with all the fittings fully welded on. Um, so I've got two, I can't remember what these are, eight or tens, whatever they are. And one, those will go one off each head and one twelve that'll come off the block. Um, I've got two breathers on here. They are radium air filters. <clears throat> and not much to say about those really. But uh, here's this baffle system that we've kind of come up with. So that's all tacked up ready to go. I don't think it needs a full weld. Those tacks will be plenty. 
um, so that's with the steel wool inside so I'm not sure if I needed to even put a baffle system in this because I'm not returning the oil into the sump like a lot of people do I've just chosen to just catch the oil and that's it um, but I wanted to I had some spare parts lying around so I thought I'd make it up anyway um, so the idea behind it is that I think a lot of people that do have catch cans the oil goes in and as it breathes and when the car gets under pressure um, oil starts coming out of these filters and can you know just dirty stuff in the engine bay obviously I want to keep mine as clean as I can but um, yeah it just starts clogging up the air filters as well making it harder to breathe so I thought I'd put something in there originally I was just going to do this and just have a catch so all I was doing was when the oil goes in these fittings at least it'll hit the, the back wall the oil will squirt in there and just go straight down instead of being able to come out here um, and then I thought I had a, some spare bits lying around I'll put some holes in it chuck some of the steel wool which was in my last catch can not this wool but some steel wool was in my last catch can and that way it'll catch any gunk so that any fill, any air coming out here is hopefully uh, pretty clean so that will just sit in there like that in line with the fittings we'll weld that lid on and that'll be the catch can finished the only other thing it, it will probably need is just a mounting plate that's roughly where it's going to sit so just some sort of mounting mounting plate to the wall maybe I'll put a couple of rev nuts in and just secure it to the wall so it just sits there just like that and I will run my lines to where they need to go but uh, yeah so this is a 5 inch alley pipe and it is it is 210 mils high um, so I can't remember the amount of litres I think it's around about between 2.6 or 2.8 litres which I've been told is plenty enough for my size engine so yeah that's a win hey what's going on so we've almost finished our oil catch can um, I've got it all bolted up with a little bracket and rib nuts I made in there I made on it um, it's not tight at the moment um, the can is finished I just need to finish it off by I've ended up putting a little barb down the bottom um, so I can put a hose on it and I've got a tap just for when I need to drain the oil catch can save me having to unbolt it tip it upside down and do all that sort of jazz so and that hose will live there permanently so the tweak pen, tweak pen had an explosion but uh, that's my little mark for where I need to make a hole. I'll try and keep it as tidy as I can. I might get a grommet, I'm not sure yet. I'll just see how I go, but I'll go ahead, drill that on, get the hose on, get the tap on. And I'm not sure how it's gonna dangle down here. Um, to be honest, I'm probably gonna use the good old cable tie to hold it. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go. I'll get this hole done and, and the hose on, and then, um, That'll be our oil catch can finished. So I've got my hose sticking out here. Um, cable tied in there for now. And I've got my little tap here. Which way does it go? That way. Drain it when I need to. It's dragging on the floor at the moment, but I'll wait till I get to the bumper stage before I determine where that's finally gonna end up. Um, so yeah, that's the catch can finished. Stoked, got my radium air filters, my baffle in there, and now it's just, uh, now I can finally hook up all the lines, which I have the fittings for now and the hoses, so that'll be on the next to-do list. Um, but happy, catch can finished. So again, another one, another little stage down. Um, again, shout out to Dean for welding that up for me. Um, who also did my intercooler piping in the last episode. Um, yeah, can cross some of that stuff off on the whiteboard behind me. 
Um, but yeah, that's it for this episode. Uh, like, subscribe to the channel. I've still got plenty more to come. Plenty more episodes to come. Wiring. Um, yeah, just mainly all the little stuff now, hopefully. Um, getting closer, getting very closer. I'm um, starting to book dates in with the tune now, so which is which lets you know you're pretty close to finishing it. So um, yeah, other than that, see you in the next episode, which will be I don't actually know. Um, maybe a bit of polishing from Toby, and um, he's going to polish my oil catch can along with the intercooler piping as well. Um, so I'll get everything off and uh, get that over to him. So maybe I might do an episode with uh, a little bit about him and the polishing process. I'm not sure. Stick around to find out. See you in the next episode. Ciao.